notice how winding your window down by hand makes you look lower middle class? There's a cheap way to fix that. First of all, what you want to do is get the window winder right off there. Throw that away. Next, get yourself one of these uh, battery-powered mixer, hand mixers. Hey, you, know, here. you ever notice on these how the blades go in opposite directions? Remember that. I'm going to be referring back to that later on. These are real cheap, especially if the blades are missing. Okay, now to wind the window up, all I do is uh, stick one of these blade receptacles over the window winder shaft and then just hit the button. How do I wind it down? Well, that's where that reversing direction thing comes in that I was referring to earlier. I just pop that on. I got a bit of a financial situation going on at the lodge this week. If any of you have sent in your dues or made a donation of any kind, we didn't get it. <laughs> I went down to the bank, I asked to see the Possum Lodge account, they had me a little jar with coins in it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Uh, uh, well, we're, we're doing a little advertising. Yeah, we're just kind of hoping to, you know, tap into the power of television's exposure to uh, meet some foxy ladies. <laughs> Yeah, we've been having a bit of trouble meeting the ladies around here, you know? Well, that's because they know you. <laughs> I, look, I, I'd, I'd like to have you guys, but I, I gotta raise some cash for the lodge. Well, maybe that's an area we can help you out. Because, I mean, like, I've got my own sewage and septic sucking business. <laughs> I've been raking it in pretty good lately, Red. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, I got entrepreneur written all over me. <laughs> well, maybe if you hose it off, you can get a date. <laughs> Dates! Huh? That's it! A bachelor auction! A bachelor auction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and me and some of the other fellows will go into it, and uh, women will bid for the right, the right to spend an evening with us. Well, see, I don't know about, you know, doing it for money. I, I promised my mom I'd stay out of the family business. <laughs> no, no, no. The lodge gets the money, not us. Oh, well, okay. We okay. get the dates. Right, right. Well, what do the women get out of it? You might want to keep that as a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Time to play the Possum Lodge word game. Today's prize is a coupon for three kisses at Brenda's Kissing Booth at the Possum Lake Fall Fair. <laughs> Brenda is pleased to announce that the test came back negative, so she's back in business. <laughs> That's Brenda's kissing booth, kisses one dollar, ask about our other prices. <laughs> All right, Red, you've got 30 seconds to get Harold to, yeah, that's right, to get Harold to say this word. <laughs> you have 30 seconds to get Harold to say this word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, and go. All right, uh, Harold. Harold. On the day that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. For a man, this is the worst thing to be. Judgmental. Uh, I, I was thinking more along the lines of you know dork, moron, goofball. Oh, oh! <laughs> Your family tree. <laughs> That's interesting, coming from one of the major knot holes, huh? <laughs> Remember that girl you went with in college? What did she call you? Collect. Okay. What name did she call you? <laughs> Pookie Pants. Oh, it's gonna take forever. No, chop, chop here, Reggie. Just about out of time. Come yeah. on. All right, all right. Uh, okay, Harold. Uh, guys like you are referred to as the future. Uh, no, Harold, Harold. This is an insult. An insult. Yeah. Oh, that's different. I was gonna say geek. <laughs> Welcome to Talking Animals with the local animal control officer, Ed Frid. Ed has brought us in an electric eel today. <laughs> come on, come on up here, Ed. Come on back there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. yeah, okay, sure. Yeah. No big deal. No. 
So, uh, Ed, what, what do these electric eels eat, anyway? You know, electric eels are actually a species of fish. But, you know, we call them eels because... because... because they look like eels. <laughs> They're all smooth and black. They got the sharp teeth and the beady eyes, eh? They're always looking like they're up to something. <laughs> like they're planning something behind your back. Just like an eel. Okay, now, now that's good information, but I asked you uh, what they eat. You know? Oh, oh, yeah. right. Well, yeah. uh... Here's what happens. See, a little fish comes swimming by, right? Mm -hmm. And the electric eel will electrify the water all around it, just like that. And uh, then uh, it eats the little fish while it's still in shock. Oh. Yeah, these things can drop a horse. Wow. Yeah, yeah up to 600 volts come out of these babies. Oh, smoke, <laughs> You don't want one in the bathtub with you, I guess, huh? <laughs> no, I wouldn't advise that. No. <laughs> No, 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 that's not a good idea. To, don't ever bathe with electric eels, because the teeth alone are... All right, Ed, 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 I, I was joking. Ed, it was a joke. I don't, was jo don't ever joke about electric okay, eels. Okay, all right, fine, fine. Okay, so what, what temperature do you keep the water out there for the eel? Oh, I don't know, just sort of warm, I guess. You know, just kind of like... Um, uh, you, uh, you okay? You okay, Ed? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Where are we? Well, no, you were just you were just telling the people about the fish that you brought in here, that's all. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, um, as you can see, uh, the full-grown dolphin loves to play with people. <laughs> Many of them have their own television programs, like you, Ed. That's, first of all, I'm not Ed, and that's not a dolphin. Oh, yes, it is. That's Flippy the dolphin. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He loves to be petted, too. Come here, guy. No, Come no, here, no, guy. No, 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 no. All right, um... You know... Ed, Ed, Ed... I think we'll have you come back another day with a new animal for us, Hey, How's that? Sounds good, Flippy. <laughs> You know, every once in a while, your wife will let you know that it's time to get rid of some of your junk. You'll know the time because it starts to get cold. Your meals are cold, your bed is cold, and every time she looks at you, the furnace kicks on. That's when you know it's time to clean out the storage shed. Now, I suppose you could just throw this stuff into a ravine or whatever, but is that what a responsible person does? Not according to the cops. No, no, today's, today's handyman gets rid of his junk by turning it into something useful. Your wife can relate. It's basically what she did with you. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Chair with no legs. Got a lawnmower missing the front wheels. Got a chunk of an extension ladder and a kid's bike. I should be able to make something out of this. you don't succeed, use more duct tape. <laughs> junk? I don't see any junk. I see a top fuel elimination rail dragster. Okay, maybe we don't have the short block 350 Chevy with the dual quads and headers on there, but a lawnmower engine does one thing just as good as any V8. It makes a lot of noise. Especially if we deinstall the muffler. <laughs> Stick in a low back pressure funnel unit in there. <sighs> anyway, the real secret is fuel. Yeah, I put a gallon of stuff in left over from Junior Stag. I'm not sure what it is, but if it goes through that engine as fast as it went through Junior, we'll be looking at a land speed record. A chair with no legs makes the perfect seat, and a lawnmower handle makes the perfect steering wheel. And as a dragster, you don't steer it anyway. I got all the controls at my fingertips, ignition, throttle, and mulch. So I'm basically ready to go. So remember, the women don't find you handsome. They should at least find you handy. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta burn some serious rubber. Never thought I'd.
might see the day when I'd be talking about chest implants for men. <laughs> but that day has arrived. Okay, here's the deal. Guys are getting little plastic bags full of seawater implanted into their chests so they look like Arnold Schwarzenegger without doing the exercising. <laughs> you look like a barracuda, but you are, in fact, a jellyfish. <laughs> okay, this is only asking for trouble. Like, say you're out on the street, you're all pumped up with your new pecs. Some hood grabs an old lady's purse and takes off running right towards you. Everybody's yelling, stop him, stop him, because you're this big muscular guy, right? You got to do something. So you step in front of this thief and he runs right into you. Blam! <laughs> Your implants explode like eggs on a windshield. <laughs> he goes by you, you start chasing him, you sound like two rubber boots full of water. <laughs> After about a block, you drown from the inside. <laughs> so forget the implants. My grandfather once told me, Never let your mind write a check that your body isn't prepared to cash. <laughs> Remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Well, we've got to figure out some way of sweetening the pot. The auction's tonight, and so far, it's just Mike and me in it. <clears throat> oh, man. Uh, it's a nice suit you got there, uh, Mike. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Your tailor expecting to put on a lot of weight and height? <laughs> Very funny. It's not custom made. I got it off the rack and I was in kind of a hurry. Was the, uh, was the store about to close? No, it was about to open. You know, well, Winston, if Mike's going to be wearing that to the auction, you better spruce up a little bit, otherwise you're not going to get any bids. Oh, Winston will be fine, Dalton, because no matter how good Mike looks, he's only going to go home with one woman. Well, we don't know that. Mind you, if it was more than five, it would be my personal best. Well, I might be able to give you a run for your money, pal. Don't forget, I didn't make it big in the sewage business by backing away from challenges. Well, you know, I'm gonna go and see if I can't drum up a couple more bachelors because <laughs> I love to see people I know being humiliated. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna stand here and look good. Five women, Mike, huh? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a ladies' basketball team. <laughs> oh, man. Did you make it to the playoffs? <laughs> no, I fouled out. <laughs> All right, we're here to resolve a problem between uh, Dalton Humphrey and Hap Shaughnessy. Dalton, why don't you give us your side? <sighs> that man is a liar. <laughs> Would you be more specific at all? I draw your attention to exhibit A red. Would you please hold that up? Yeah. Now, that is a man's white glove that belongs to Hap Shaughnessy. He claims it was originally the property of none other than Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> he wants to donate it to the Possum Lake Curio Natural Oddities Museum, and I'm the one that has to authenticate it. Is this your glove, Hap? Give it to me, Red. Let me have a look. Yep. You see? See that M on that tag? That stands for Maine, and that's French for hand. No, I think that, that M stands for medium. And that's, I believe that's French for 42D. You see what I'm saying, Red? There, he's lying through his teeth. There's no way that Napoleon gave him that glove. Oh, well, that's obvious. Napoleon died a thousand years before I was born. This glove was given to me by his great-grandson, Bob Bonaparte. <laughs> I saved his life one night when he came into a Satan's Choice meeting wearing his mime costume. I've never been a big fan of mimes myself. On the other hand, they don't talk. Well, oh, look at that glove. It's not antique, it's brand new. Yeah, it is in pretty good shape, Hap. Well, of course it is. This was on the hand that he always kept inside his jacket. <laughs> And when you think about it, Napoleon conquered Europe single-handedly. <laughs> Red, can't you do something? I mean, that glove belongs to half, not Napoleon. Oh, I think I can prove it once and for all. <sighs> Look, I rest my case. Sorry, Dalton, no, he's got a precedent there. If the glove doesn't fit, it belongs to the French twit. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, 
Amber had called us out and had an emergency of some kind. He was stuck apparently somewhere. So Dalton and I come out there and I don't know whether he was in a tree or there's a ravine uh, close to the road there. I thought maybe he might have fallen down the ravine. Maybe that was, but uh, no, he wasn't down there. And that's, that stick boom had been sitting there for a couple of weeks. I don't know where that was from, but uh, I don't know where the heck he is. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man. What? No, just use the, con use the control. Bring her down with the controls. Just put her, get the down. Just bring her down with the control. Put the control. Oh, the con oh they're not working. Oh, the controls aren't working. Oh, control oh, OK, OK, OK. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Now, come on, come on, Dalton. Dalton, here, boy, here, boy. Come on, boy, here, boy, here, boy. All right. And we had uh, we had a special ladder we got from the uh, RKO Studios. Uh, these are hard to come by, believe me. And they're uh, they're a great uh, they're a great unit. You know, if you can get a hold of one, they're unbelievable. It's like a great 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 system. But you need that kind of length when you're going up that uh, real heavy heavy a lot of the leverage leverage is major here. Get her up, get her up, get her up. I think it's going to be just perfect. Just going to just nudge up against it. You'll be able to climb it. Hang on, Walter. Help's on its way. Here it comes. Just, oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. oh. And down the ravine. All right, if we can get it, just hook onto one of the levers or an edge, anything sticking out of this. Now, you stand back, Walter. Get back away. We're going to try to lasso onto a piece of the metal, and we can pull the whole unit down. Just get her up there. You hook onto something there, Dalton. Hook onto something. Yeah, it'll be all right. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, no. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Give her a good one. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. What? Oh. All right. Uh, well, he's down, you know. Oh, and he's good. And he's good. And he brought the ladder back. You know, a, a lot of the young guys grow up missing out learning about how to use their hands because they figure anything they need, they can just go and buy at a store, you know? Well, I'll tell you, it's no kindness to let a young guy grow up to be a wuss. So today we're going to spend, here, give me that. We're going to spend some quality time learning how to build a, what are we going to build here? Huh? Yeah, 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 but the, the, what, what is this? What do we, what do we have here? Huh? What, is, what does it look like? What, what, what? What is it? Huh? What does that look like? Ah, little here, here, don't, don't touch it, don't touch it. We'll break it. Okay, it's a birdhouse. It's a birdhouse. We're gonna build a birdhouse today, okay? All right, now the first thing we want to do with the birdhouse is nail a side onto the bottom, all right? And I'm gonna need some help with this. Huh? I'm gonna need some help. So you're gonna help old Alton with this? Are you gonna? Sure you are. Okay, you hold that. You hold that good. Just hold it anywhere, anywhere. No, no, not there, because I'm gonna hit your thumb. No, no, that's not steady enough. Just just hold it, hold it. No, not there. No, just, I told you not there. Put it in the, oh, give that to me. <laughs> All right, now the first thing we gotta do, get a nail started, right? We'll get the nail in there, give her a little tap or two. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, and now we're ready to line up the bottom. We'll get a good, oh! oh. You don't want to do that too often, do you? <laughs> okay, I, I just showed you that so it'll, you can see what'll happen if you're not careful, all right? <laughs> I think that's enough wood chop for today. Okay, I'll, off, off you go, go off and, and, and off you go. Just don't grow up to be a wuss. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> nice boy, he's just not that handy. <laughs> Something you're born with, I guess. Welcome to the first annual Possum Lodge Bachelor Auction. We're all set. To... Oh, all right, all right. I've just been informed that our uh, first entry is uh, a bit of a surprise visitor and a late entry, and I have no idea who it is. Bring him in, whoever it is. This is our first bachelor. Come on in. Oh, my. <laughs> Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, will anybody, any of you give us 50 bucks? Oh man, uh, all right, uh, how about $100? Uh, 
How about $200? That's okay, no hard feelings. Yeah, yeah. How about $300? All right, let's speed this up before you ladies regain your senses. How about $500? Oh. So, the winner, if we can call her that, is this lady right here in the front row. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Bachelor Winston, you want to stand up here? Can we start the bidding off at, uh, say, $100? Okay, how about 50, 50, 50? You know what? I'm going to group the next two items. Mike, get up here. And, uh, ladies, you just start the bidding. Anybody, give me a bid. Tell me where I should start the bidding. I'm in $10. You know, I don't think anybody's that desperate for a date, Dalton. It's not a date. I need help cleaning up my warehouse. Sounds good to me. You got them both for 10 bucks. There's a meeting. Come on, guys. Yeah, you guys go ahead. I'll be right down, all right? If my wife is watching, uh, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting, and I, I'm so glad I stayed faithful to you over the years. I tell you, being married is tough enough. Dating's even worse. I can't imagine doing both. Hats off to Frank Gifford, huh? <laughs> Gracias. Yeah. Thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and all the eligible bachelors up here at Boston Lodge, keep your stick on the ice. Everybody sit down. Everybody sit down. Think of place. Oh. Oh, all rise. All rise. Bondo Omni Funkus Moritai. Sit down. I'm a man, but I can change, if I have to, I guess. <laughs>